Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another look focused on the e.l.f. Opposites Attract palette, but this time we are going to be playing around with the cool tone side of the palette. If you didn't see my recent video reviewing this palette, then be sure to go on over and watch that before you jump to this one. Um, it gives a little bit more of an in-detail look at the palette and swatches and everything like that. On that video, I focus more on the warm side of the palette. This time I want to focus on the cool side of the palette. So I really want to try out Clever, Calm, and witty. Those are That's like the vibe I'm going for today. If you like these kinds of videos where I'm putting products to the test, be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the palette. My eyes are already primed. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and go in with the shade witty. It's this like neutral gray tone and start putting that into the crease. Now these eyeshadows are pretty dusty. That's why I am doing my eyes before the rest of my makeup. I will be sure to finish up this video with a full face on just so you get the full effect because I feel like when you're just applying eyeshadow without everything else on it can look a little weird. Adding this into my crease. This shade looks maybe just a tad oh, whoa that was magic I caught the brush this shade looks maybe a tad patchy and I think that's just how a lot of grays are sadly I don't know if it's like the formula is hard to get right but definitely patchier than I would like it to be I always have this one spot on my eye right here that eyeshadow refuses to blend no matter how much I blend on that spot it just won't accept it just rejects the eyeshadow I don't know why it's that way so I'm not as happy with how that shade blended I feel like it looks I mean I've tried to blend it as much as I can but overall I just think it looks a little patchy but what I'm gonna do is go in with this shade calm it's like this blue toned gray and start working that into my crease as well but with a little bit of a more dense brush so I'm gonna take this one it's the MAC 217 brush and that shade I'm keeping a little bit lower than the shade uh, witty that we put in the crease that is helping a lot Whenever I play with cool tone shades, they just don't look right. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to seeing myself in them. Then I'm going to take this shade called Clever. It's a really pretty light dusty purple. I'm taking that on my finger. That's what it looks like swatched. I'm going to be placing that on my lid. I'm going to go in with a brush that doesn't have any product on it. Just blend the edges because they still feel like they look a little patchy you know it's a give and take with palettes like this like I really like the shades but you just have to work with them a little bit to get the end result looking really nice and it's I mean it's elf it's an affordable drugstore brand so I think this is to be expected a little bit and it's really just that witty shade that is throwing me off because I feel like this shade calm and the one that I just placed on the lid are both really pigmented and blend really well. It's just that witty shade. I'm gonna go back in with that calm shade. It's that baby blue. Put that in the crease. I think that looks super, super nice. I think I'm going to deepen up the outer V using this shade called Smooth. It's a dark, dusty, smoky color. Putting that just in my outer V. I like that shade. I think I'm gonna add this shade called Low Key. It's like a white with multi-dimensional like reflective purple glitter in it. I think I'm going to use that to highlight my inner corner right here. But what I'm gonna do real quick is go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. We'll come back and finish up this eye look because I'm pretty much done with my lid. I'm really happy with how it looks and it took like no time at all. So that's what I'm going to do and then I will be back and we can finish up this look. Here we are. We're back. I just finished up the rest of my makeup. So let's hop back into the palette. And like I said, I wanted to add a little bit of that low key shade onto my inner corner. I feel very galactic. I don't know about you guys, but that's just how I'm feeling. So this is the shade low key right here. Taking it on just like a really small brush. Oh, that's a unique highlight shade, like, for the inner corner. 
It goes well. It's a good highlight shade for the inner corner, seeing as the rest of my eyeshadow is very purple. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is not do the lower lash so smoky and dramatic because I already have kind of a lot going on on my top lid. So I'm going to take a pencil brush like this. I'm going to take the shade Calm and put that underneath my lower lash line. Cool. This is so different for me. And I totally see that inner corner highlight changing from white to like pink purple. It looks really cool. All right, I'm going to add some mascara and put some white eyeliner on my waterline just to brighten up the look a little bit because I feel like it looks like a grungy alien. Yeah. I do think that I drug the purple up maybe just a hair too high. So what I'm going to do is take a flat brush and take the shade... Uh, fresh in the palette and put that just on my brow bone. That's a good trick you can always use. Like if you take your crease shade up too high, you can always use a neutral like eyeshadow that you use to set your base with and just put it on your brow bone, something that is matte that is going to just like control the eyeshadow a little bit more in case you went overboard and just you know, got crazy with your blending. <laughs> then I'm going to take this white eyeliner. This is from MAC. It's NC15. NW20 is the studio eye coal or whatever it's called, but you can use any white eyeliner that you have. Placing this on my waterline. Then I'm going to coat my bottom lashes with some mascara and call it a day. All right, everyone, there you have it. This is the finished eye look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!